Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. I feel like that gets a little more extreme every time. Uh, as you can see, we've made our way back to Fuchsia City and we need to take care of some business, some sad business, before we do anything else. And that is the farewell to Suisin the Mighty Raikou who tragically, whoops, Jay's, no, no. Tragically fell in the last episode fighting uh, the Kyogre. Ugh. Speaking of whom, there's Goop. Goop the Kyogre. Uh, but first things first, let's go in here, Suisen. Suisen, who was, who we, who's the master ball on, right? Who, Look, Raikou, such an interesting Pokemon in the history of my Nuzlocke. Raikou, it is believed, is the one who gifted me the shiny mill tank once upon a time. Uh, and then presented itself here to be caught by the Master Ball, only to then fall when we fought the Kyogre. The other Pokemon we were the legendary we were looking for. In a way, I feel like Raikou was simply there to help lead us to our destiny, because we've been saying for so many episodes now how, man, if we get a Kyogre, if we get something with Drizzle, is the Rain Dance team. It feels like this is what uh, we have been just barreling towards, is Rain Dance, is the water. I mean, look at this. Look at the powerful water, the Rain Dance members of the team already. Suisen, I thought, might have been a part of that, but alas, they have fallen. We had but one fight, and it was a very well-fought fight. The, pre the ability pressure was key to that fight because it ran out those hydro pumps quickly, and we were not taking them well. <sighs> it is very hard to release a legendary Pokemon, you guys. Here we go. Goodbye, Suisen. I release you back to the wild. Oh, it hurts. I hate releasing stuff. That is terrible. Um, but do you know who we're gonna bring on? Is Goop. <laughs> For sure we're bringing on Goop. I mean, after all that, at, if if Suisin had to go down, we must honor Suisin's legacy by bringing on Mighty Goop. Um, and we have some, now the first thing, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go fight Beaches. And then we're gonna try and take on Victory Road with our uh, mighty new Rain Dance themed team. Uh, and we have lots of options if we wanted to mix stuff up. We have Craig, Craig the, Vi the Vaporeon. <laughs> Craig the Vaporeon. Uh, we have Mythos, we have Mama Smurf. Yeah, we have Dijon, I guess. Less likely, less likely. Although honestly, at the moment, I think we're pretty good. I think I'm gonna stick with the, the other team as it were, except we are gonna go pick up one other item real quick. I'm gonna put you down here, Data, so we can go do some flying. Sorry, sorry. We have things to do before we go fight Peaches and give him a, give him another whooping. Uh, we, oh, whoops, bup, 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 bup. we need to go, oh wait. First thing, we're gonna heal. Let's do that because we ran out of power points on like so many Pokemon. We were having so much tr trouble just damaging Goop in the fight. Um, let's look at the stats. Let's take a look at the stats, right? So you can see the, the power, 111, 102, 140 special attack. Although, look at this. That's not even as good as Dracus. Look, 140 special attack. 144 attack. Special defense though, 162. That's insane. And defense, 102. Actually, not as good as Dracus. I think Dracus is still the strongest Pokemon of the team, which is saying something because we have a legendary Pokemon who runs the ocean, right? Uh, anyway, we have to go in, in proper fashion. We're going to have disappoint. Fly us. I know. You guys are like, wait, just why are you using... Where am I going? Here? Yeah. <clears throat> why don't you just give Dracus fly? And it's because I don't like fly. Right? Like, it's more powerful than Aerial Ace, but it can miss, and it takes two turns, and I don't like that. Was that the Max Repel ending? Where we're going to go is down to the power plant. Let's 
to make sure we have someone the reason yeah we have cc in front that's good and we need to go get an item in here are you ready not that a diglet what the opposite of what uh, i think we actually have to fight it because um <laughs> i it has what it has a uh, shadow tag it like traps you Oh, a Slowpo! Boy, I'm sure glad we caught Suicid in here instead of Diglett and or Slowpo, right? Jeez, we'll just punch them dead because we can. A Wurmple! Oh my gosh, can you know, what if we found a shiny Wurmple, you guys? That would have been, that would, boy, the return of Siru? Can you imagine if it evolved into something to, a Kecleon! There's all sorts of crazy stuff in this place. Kecleon, Wurmple, Slowpo, Diglett. Oh no, this is the wrong one. Look, it's a it's an explosive Talo. It it's disguised as a Pokeball. Okay, normally those things are electrodes and they're very scary because they can explode on you. Octillery, this place is just loaded with weird things. I'm just gonna run. I don't really want to fight stuff though. That's not why we came here. We came here to get an item. Some of you already know what I'm gonna get, but I'll leave it as a surprise to the rest of you because uh, I think it's this one. Pidgey! How dare you. You're in here too, huh? You're everywhere. Livid, this is it, right? It's Thunder! Right, so we might have lost the mighty Thunder Dog. However, legacy shall live on with the Pokemon who took who took him down. So although we had to release Suisin, Suisin's legacy shall live on in the form of this TM, which we picked up where we caught Suisin. There it is, Thunder. Now, hilariously, I look at CC could actually learn Thunder, but CC's special attack is terrible. Instead, I think it's much more fitting if the Pokemon that took down Suisin gets, is uh, that Suisin helped, gave his life for us to catch, is the one who gets to carry on the legacy. This is why Suisin died, so we could be united with Goop. Yes, Goop already knows four moves, yeah. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready for absolute insanity? Look, Ice, Calm Mind, Insane, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, and now Thunder. Yeah. Now bear in mind, Goop has the Drizzle ability, which starts the rain as soon as it's sent into battle, which is uh, important because one of the effects of Rain Dance, or the rain, is that it makes Thunder 100% accurate, which is awesome. Uh, we also have that Calm Mind, which makes all of our special attacks stronger. That includes Ice Beam and Hydro Pump and Thunder. The Rain will also make Hydro Pump stronger, not more accurate, weirdly. I feel like Hydro Pump gets the short end of that stick because Sunny Day makes Fire Blast stronger and, and it makes Solar Beam fire in one turn. The Hail makes Blizzard accurate, but for whatever reason, they decided that Hydro Pump gets no weird bonuses. Maybe because Hydro Pump already, I think Hydro Pump has like moderately better accuracy anyway. I think it's got like 80 accuracy, a Hypno, goodness. This, this place is just loaded with weird stuff. We didn't see any of the stuff that was in this one because we repelled our way to the, um, to Suisin last time around, but we're just exiting the building now. We don't need to worry. Is this an item? Max potion, yay. Maybe that'll come in handy. We should, uh, you guys kept reminding me in the chat, we should sell our revives because they're basically useless. So now, whoops, no, sorry, disappoint. Fly, we're going to fly back to Viridian City. Kabam. And we are going to go to Bill's PC and we're gonna move Pokemon and we're gonna get Data, the Dugong, back in favor of Disappoint. And there we go, guys. This is our new official freaking awesome Rain Dance team. Here it is, look, we have. So the reason I'm, so I think, so Data, Happy, and Sporkles, and Goop are all obvious members for the Rain Dance team, right? I mean, Data and Happy are both water types. They have water type moves. They benefit from the rain. Um, Goop obviously starts the rain. That's good. We need that. That's sort of the whole the whole premise. Sporkles has thunder. Goop has thunder. Dracus, uh, however, is I, I think makes sense to say because isn't 
hurt by the rain in any way. It doesn't like hurt any of their uh, her abilities. Obviously is insanely strong and uh, it's just good type coverage for us. Like it's good to have the dragon typing out there uh, <coughs> to take down anything we might not be able to handle with these guys. And then there's Cece, who you might think, shouldn't we just replace Cece for some other water type? But I think I like having Cece on because for sure the exact same reason, one, just additional type coverage, and also Cece is just quite strong herself. Something we could do, I thought about, is uh, Cece can actually learn Rain Dance. So we could give Cece Rain Dance as well in a, um, in a like, uh, as another way to start the rain if someone else has weather or something like that. But I just, I don't see any reason why Goop can't just come in and start the rain. Um, I don't know. So, I don't know. If you think we should give CC the Rain Dance TM, I will. But let me know what you think. At the moment, we're just going to stay as is. And we're, gonna, we're just going to move Goop out front. We're going to let Goop uh, lead. We're going to intimidate Peaches with that. We're just going to let Peaches know that we are amazing and that they are going to die. Uh, we shall rain thunder and water and ice down upon them and calm mind if we need to. And they're going to feel super embarrassed if they ever cross paths with us. Um, yeah, we have legendary Pokemon on the team. Deal with the beaches. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, and then we're going to try and take on the rest of Victory Road, which means possibly next episode we could uh, be ready for the Elite Four with our insane Rain Dance team, which has, we've been building towards the whole game in secret. We didn't even know, but now here we are. Uh, we could also catch some stuff on the way up to Victory Road and then in Victory Road. So there's still two more catches, and I think there's a few more locations I missed along the way. But at the moment, we're feeling pretty good with the team anyway. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's all. Let's go fight us some peaches. All right, here he is. What, Jay? What a surprise to see you here. I see you're going to Pokemon League. You collect the other badges too, and that's cool. Then I'll whip you, Jay, as a warm up for the Pokemon League. Come on. Yeah, we'll see. So he is Monotype minus his Pidgeot. So we'll see. We'll see what he's got. He's had a. It was Steel. He's Steel today. Oh, that's adorable. And look, it's raining. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Let's hit him with a Hydro. Let's see. This Hydro Pump was deadly accurate when we were fighting. Look how small Goop looks. That is not a good back sprite. Not a good back sprite. Hydro Pump! Sorry, Agron. You're dead. You're dead. Just like that. One shot, one kill. Goop. Literally making it rain. Oh, he's a rock trainer, not a steel type. My bad. I always forget Agron. I always think Agron is steel ground, but it's steel rock. Um, Hydro Pump! So powerful. So dead. So dead, Salt Rock. You're so dead. Goop is insane. Look at this. This is amazing. This is awesome. Lilip! Oh, you got some. Uh, Got some grass types over there, do ya? Let's, um, should we, t I mean, part of me thinks just keep Hydro Pump. Ah, uh, that's what I was afraid of, that we missed. Okay, okay, you wanna, you wanna play it like that? No big deal. Cause we can do this. Um, let's let Happy enjoy the rain. Amnesia, mm-hmm, no big deal. This is good, cause I wanted, I wanted to, like, demonstrate the fun. Oh, well that did not work out super well. Because it's part grass, that's the problem. Oh, jeez. Um, there we go. <gasps> Woo! 609, happy, there we go. Larvitar, doesn't matter. <clears throat> when you, in just a regular game, after you've beaten the Elite Four once and come back for the second round, Peaches, or uh, your rival, typically has a, or has, will have a Tyranitar. That's what he catches in the off season. Happy's just gonna wreck this guy, though. Aaron, oh my gosh. He has not done a good job evolving all of his Pokemon, has he? Um, up, 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 up. Let's do this. Let's switch to... I guess it doesn't super matter. Let's just, we got him. I'm just gonna serve it down. Oh, you're gonna try and protect. I was gonna think, say maybe we should go to, um, cause he's gonna bring in a Pidgeot next and then we can, if we can hit it with something like super effective, 
But you know what? It's rain. You gonna protect twice? Yeah, I'd be pretty afraid at this point, too. It's raining. I have a giant um, alligator using Surf, and you've got that tiny little Aeron. Here comes the Pidgeot. Mm -hmm. The rain continues to fall. I think we just surfed this thing dead. Whew. No, wing attack is strong, ain't no doubt. But it's not strong enough. Attack harshly fell. It's a solid effort, but I'm using special attack over here, Peaches. You're dead. Player defeated rival Peaches. Mm hmm. What? Yeah, it was just careless, you. Um, uh, yeah, just careless. All right, see ya. I'm gonna go, um, heal. You know what we should do? Act we should also. Man, I should have done this while we were in Fuchsia City. I, I should get some, uh, more potions, because I don't think you can buy good potions here, right? No, you cannot. Um, it seems like maybe we should do that. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I'm gonna do a quick fly and get some uh, potions real quick, just so we are um, well stocked. All right, we are back and we are heading to Victory Road. At long last, oh, well, the Venomoth. Well, wouldn't that have been a crazy thing to have caught, like, uh, right at the beginning of the game? This is where we could have also caught, um... This is where we missed the Umbreon, by the way. This is, We've already been in this grass. In episode one, all the way back to the beginning. Here we go. Oh, that's the Boulder Badge. Go right ahead. Route 23. Oh, it's the Cascade Badge. The Thunder Badge. Mm-hmm. Moving right along. Rainbow Badge. So we can actually, this this will count as our, if we run into something, this will be our Route 23 encounter. So who knows, uh, I don't think we would uh, switch anyone off the team at this point, but you never know. I mean, it'd have to be something particularly cool to uh, make it on at this point, I dare say. I dare say. Um, oh, 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 here we go, all right, this is our encounter. We can catch this, whatever it is. Oh my gosh, it's a Blastoise! <laughs> Well, it is cool. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. I'm, I mean, yeah, it's a Blastoise. It's so fitting that I run into a Blastoise exactly here, because the last time I did a Nuzlocke in this region, my Blastoise was killed in that Peaches fight we just had. And now here's another Blastoise. This is so weird. Um, Thunder Wave fight. Uh, so we're definitely going to have to switch to... Let's go to our own water starter. So we can also bite this... Oh, he's going to try and protect? How fitting. What? That's so cool that we ran into the Blastoise here. It's like... It's like... Uh, I don't know. It feels very poetic, doesn't it? Like the game is encouraging us. All right, let's go, let's catch it. In the last episode, we got an Ivysaur. We've got all sorts of starters all of a sudden. How, don't you break free. Come on. <clears throat> we got it! Amazing. Amazing. Woo! Blastoise? Blastoise! Wowzers. Look at that. Oh, man. Blastoise. He's a shellfish? what it says. Turtles, shellfish. They do have shells. They're not really fish, though. They're not fish. They're reptiles. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Obviously, we need a nickname. I feel like we should nickname it in accordance with, like, Donatello in some way. Ooh. Because of the way... Because of it. Let's name it... Well, let's go... Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle, Ben? <laughs> For sure. Can you spell Raphael? Yeah. Maybe. Probably. Let's double check that. I don't want to miss no, it's not like a weird name. Let's see. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Sorry, no one gets Donatello named after them, unless you happen to be named Raphael. 
but this is, uh, we're naming this in accordance with our, our fallen friend Donatello from so long ago. Place the box. Man, it's pretty cool, we got a Blastoise. I mean, no doubt. Oh, a Jinx. Oh, pff, ugly. Can you imagine if, we, if we'd if we run into the Jinx first? Jinx who killed Benjamin. Oh, you lovely piece of fuck. Whatever, just go. I don't have time for that. Don't have time for that. I'm afraid not. I should have woken up. Sporkle's up. And the Earth Badge. Here we go. Okay, now we can also catch whatever we run into right here in Victory Road. Uh, another reason to keep CC on is that we need someone to use strength. And uh, CC is very strong. So there you go. Oh, here we go. We can catch this, whatever it is. Oh, it's a, it's a pine co. Not the coolest. Um, these things evolve into, what are they called? The exploder dudes. So I don't know if this one can also explode. That would be kind of annoying if it did that. Um, let's hit it with a brick break. Now that might actually kill our steel type. Yeah, okay, we're good. Take down, you got nothing. Okay. Oh, it's self-destructed. Well, there you go. I guess we're not catching uh, that. Guys, in Gen 1, it, I'm pretty sure if that happened to you, you had to reactivate strength when you got back to the main screen. And it was super annoying. In fact, you couldn't even just like go talk to the rock and it'd be like, would you like to use strength? You'd have to like walk up to the rock, then say, and then go into the menu and select strength and then just do it. It was super, super annoying. A slow bro. Oh, uh, spark. Yeah, critical hit, critical spark. Boom dead spork. Spork was good to level 44. Of course he did. Oh, let's see what else we got in here. Mighty Anna, what's what's the cast of poke wild Pokemon we're gonna have to be constantly dealing with? This is a level 46, so it's actually stronger than us. That's sort of scary. Take down. Oh! Had some uh had some damage on it. Not too afraid, but I think we are gonna go ahead and just use one of our potions, because why be risky when we don't have to? The fights in here could be a little tricky. The good news is we can always switch into goo. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here's a fight. I wonder if you're good enough for me. I guess we'll find out. Mining! Oh! Wow, wow. Think you've got a, think you've got a mining, do ya? Well, I have a mining to tell you that mine's better than yours. Mining's better than yours. Lots of great mining puns there. Charge, yeah, not concerned. Charge, also not concerned. Yeah. Um, unless that charge is making... Who's gonna say? Oh, you, you dare. You dare. Um. <clears throat> Let's go just full heal. Charge, yeah, not concerned about that at all. We're just gonna protect this thing to death. It's got, yeah. It used the Hyper Potion. When do they ever do that? That never happens. Very annoying. Okay, paralyzed again, okay. My concern is that CC has got some low health here. And that Sporkles is now... Weirdly, Thunder might be a problem for us all of a sudden. Didn't think about that. I mean, <clears throat> Dracus resists it, but also is weak to it. So I guess we're neutral with Dracus. Is what I would think. <clears throat> uh, we're going to switch to CC. Oh gosh, that was so, I was exactly afraid of that. Of course it's a mine and giving us trouble. Of course. Now it's just rocking the thunders on us. Gah. Let's see, 
No! <clears throat> okay. Bad. This is our first trainer fight and we can't get around the mine in. Is anyone surprised? Look at this thing, what is happening? I did not miss the sink. Oh my gosh, and that one did way more damage. Okay, okay, well, I'm, I'm not feeling good about it, guys. This is a weird situation. It's got to, it's, because it's the paralyzed that's really hurting us, because we don't have, we need like a full restore to heal both things. Well, this is just bad news. Stop it! Okay, that one we can deal with. Finally missed, and we can get around the, my goodness. What a, finally another trainer who understands the power of mining. Oh my gosh, it's got more thunder. <clears throat> this is not a good fight. CC is like tank and blows for us. My goodness, my gracious. Everything's got thunder all of a sudden. I feel like we should just heal again. I cannot, can you imagine if we hadn't gotten the hyper potions? We'd have been like screwed in this fight. How many thunders can CZ take? This is what happens when you train with Sporkles, though. You learn how to take a thunder, which is obviously what CZ has been doing. A plus ult! Okay, now they're going down, though. Now we can finally use Dig effectively. Yeah, okay. This was my plan if we ran into thunder types. The paralysis is what was really getting us. Thunder wave, look, they're trying to, they know. Ah! Thunder punch, no, oh, gosh! And a Magneton to finish it off. Mm-hmm. Gosh, these things have not been any joke at all. Spark, yeah. <sighs> the man, the paralysis is seriously a problem. Oh. Lock on, don't like that. Gosh, come on. Okay. Goodness. That was insane. Yeah, see that fight? We do not want to run into thunder trainers, apparently. <clears throat> I also don't love that, um, well, let me use the paralyzed heal. Be a little more specific here, so we can save our full heal for more dire situations. Um, Like one fight in and we had to use that many freaking potions. Can you believe it? I cannot. Pine coat, yeah. Run from that. We need more self-destructs happening. One of these is rare candy, one of them is dragon claw. I don't know which is which. I don't know which would be better. Yeah, look, more thunder stuff. I'm gonna go for this. Rare candy, okay, we'll take it. That's probably better. We already have good dragon move. Jigglypuff! See you later, don't want to run into you. Oh, another trainer, okay. Let's see, what's this guy got? What's he got? Whew, looks like he's a uh, water type, which means he's going to down. Yeah, he's water. For a second, I was like, is Star you possibly also psychic? Is this guy a psychic trainer? If we see psychic trainers coming, we need to try and prepare for the, for the, uh, the old Wobbuffet. Then they could inevitably be holding, and I don't know what to throw, what would we throw in on a Wobbuffet? What would be the option there at this point? We would want to, we would want a Thunder Wave it, probably. That'd be a good way to go about it. And Seal, dead. Oh, once again, we've seen this so many times where Sporkles is reluctant to knock out members of the SEAL line because he just, just loves Data so much. All right, we got that one. Like, this is so hardly a puzzle right here, right? Wait, wait. Who doesn't solve that one? Who has to go reset that one? All right, bring it, Black Belt dude. This here is Victor Road. It's the final test for trainers. Well, the final test is really 
the Elite Four, wouldn't you say? Kecleon, what do you, would you come from Blaine's gym or something? Up, up, uh, let's see. Um, cause he's just gonna become the Thunder type. We know he's gonna have like Psy Wave or something. Let's just hit him with the old Thunder. Make him. Oh! Normal type, and then he Psy Beamed us, and then we sparked him. Came the electric type. Oh gosh, he actually tried to use the type advantage there, though. Oh gosh. I think that's more. Woo! Wiggly Alright, we're gonna switch. We're gonna give some other people some, some fights here. Let's go into. CC. Disable. Ha! You got nothing. Brick Brook! Yeah. We brick, we break. And a Clefable. So just the normal trainer here, no problem. Sing. Man, I, I was afraid the other one was gonna sing. Did not. Didn't matter. CC's not. Doesn't have time for that today. Level 48, crushing it. Trying to catch up to Dracus at level 50 there. Of course. Deadly bird. We can fight this one, no problem, right? We'll just spark it. Yeah. Who had the deadly bird? Was it Sabrina? I think it was. Uh. Fight this guy. Ah, so you wish to challenge the Elite Four? That I do, friend. Oh, bug type trainer. Um, let's go to Dracus. Throw the Intimidate on there. I was using Bide? Is that what he used? Well, I think not, my friend. We're just gonna um, Intimidate <laughs> Shuffle here until he decides, yeah, that Bide is done with. Encore? Okay, that's tricky. Well, that could have been tricky, except that uh, Encore and then Bide, that's that's smart, except that you died. You died before you could Bide. Bunch of free! Oh, oh, I'm still stuck with Encore. Not that it matters, so I'm just gonna aerialize everything, but Dragus goes to 51! Still highest on the team, even higher than Goop, wouldn't you know? Aerial Ace, for the kill. 10 levels up on your Heracross. What? And Ningeda! Aerialize. Wow, that really lasts. Oh yeah, we got you. I know you guys are screaming about that item over there. We will come back to it whenever we drop the rock. Okay, that's what I'm. That's what I'm waiting on. When we drop the rock. Let's switch um, to that. Full heal. Come on, I'll whip you. Will you? Oh, man, see, now we should have stuck with. Maybe we should have stuck with, uh, with the Spork. Uh, let's do this, though. You know what? This seems like a great opportunity to bring in Goop. Now we make... Oh, what? He makes it hail. He was ready for Goop. So frustrating. Um, now we could hilariously go back to Dugong. Let's make it thunder on this guy, though. Yeah, one shot. That's what I was going to do was, like, make it rain and hit him with thunder. Uh, most of that still worked. Hail continues to fall, pelted by the hail. So it's it like got water trainer. Let's switch back to then. Um, they can just keep thundering, right? Yeah. Nothing. This guy's got some high special defense train or Pokemon though. Good for you, dude. Playing the defensive game. A Mawile! That's interesting. Level 48, too. Jeez. Can we knock it out? Yeah, we'll take it. Do we want the item? We do! Is Victory Road too tough? Not so far. I made it to you. <clears throat> and you're alone, Machop, but I'm not gonna fight your alone, Machop. Ooh, fighting types. No, I was gonna say, wait. Never mind. Remember Dracus versus the entire fighting gym? Yeah, what a laugh. What an aerial aceable laugh. Boom. Dead. Ace. Boom, dead roar. What was that? I didn't even see what it was. I think it was. Hail? Team 07, is that what it was? Yeah, okay. Don't need that. We like it when it rains here on this team. We don't need no we don't need no hail. Shup it. 
don't want to fight these ghosts and be subject to something really weird happening. You gotta go get all the items though, right? No items left behind! I heard rumors of a child prodigy. Yes, that's me. The child. <coughs> I am the prodigy, I suppose. Shadinja! Is it weak? Is it part flying? If it's part flying, we can just Aurora Beam it. Or is it just bug? I don't know. Here's what we're gonna do. Mind Reader took aim. How about I take aim at you? One HP over there. Dating aim 427. Armaldo! Okay, so he has more, uh, more bugs. But now he's also part rock. Um, let's go Dragon Breath. Oh, I see. Yeah. All you can do is protect. He's just, let's, this Armaldo is staring up at Dracus and is like, ah, please no. Look, four protects in a row. That's not allowed. Aerial Ace. Boy, is there any better move than Aerial Ace? It's just so good. It wrecks so many things, especially with Dracus. Oh, a dust stalks. Oh, I hate to knock it out. <laughs> Don't hate it that bad. What do we got here? A max revive. What a worthless item. We can't revive. Revives aren't allowed. A houndoom. Very fun. Very fun. Um, odor sleuth. Doesn't matter. Surf. Dead. Dead. And now we're going to push this boulder. This is the most annoying boulder push ever. A chancy. Boy, that would have been a fun one. That though, boulder, boulder, boulder. It's so annoying because if somehow you mess up right here, then you are. Oh, item. Let's go get it. <sighs> can't escape! Well, I don't like that. Well, if we can't escape, then we have to kill it, then I guess we will. We have just the Pokemon to do it. <clears throat> Overheat! Man, okay, that's probably pretty good. Well, I mean, it is a good move, but um, it won't be good in the rain. And it lowers your special attack. So we go down here next? Is that how you go? If you can't get through here, you can go meet the Elite Four. All right. Oh! Hmm, why not? I don't know how these things work. Are they... Is it just essentially Wobbuffet, just unevolved? Does it have the same set of moves? Let's see. Oh gosh, that made me nervous. <clears throat> it did, it did a lot. Um... to hit it with. Don't know what to hit it with. We don't have a ton of dark moves. Obviously that only did some. I want to make sure we kill it, but it's like at that dangerous just over half. But it probably doesn't have... Oh man, this is a weird fight. Is it letting us switch? The fact that it's letting us switch means it doesn't have... Oh gosh. I don't like it. Okay, here's what we need to do. We need to heal. So that we are at maximum health. That's what we need to do. Mirror code. Okay. It does have that. Let's try... Thief again. Ah! Oh boy! Woo! Woo! It is a good thing we used that potion, you guys. It is a good thing we used that potion. It is dead. Ooh, that was scary. Oh, we have more to fight. Okay, it's an Abra. That's a little um, comforting because we can at least do that. Teleport, it can't do anything. Wow. If, if they had set out like a Wobbuffet right here, we would have been. That would have been very bad. In the meantime, Data can just beat this thing into Ross. Whew. Psychic trainers, man. They are scurrying. Look at that. Maybe I should have just been surfing from the beginning. That was nerve-wracking. 
Oh, a beautifly. A very ugly beautifly. What is with that color palette? Man. We come down here for a guard spec? That is a that is not fantastic. Iron defense. Surf. Everyone's picking up a level here and there. Oh no. Do I have to go push the boulder again? Ugh. So annoying. This is the most annoying boulder push, right? This is why having the turbo button is so handy, because you can do Like, it's so annoying we have to push that thing, like, one little space at a time. Ugh. Taylo. Aurora Beam. That's, like, worthless experience, though. I mean, not worthless. All experience is good, but you know what I mean. Oh, boy. I... <laughs> Starting to think about the Elite Four. Based on how these fights are going, it's making me think we need a wee bit more training. Ooh. Okay, part of me was like, man, what if we are unable to successfully run from this thing? Did that? Move the boulder back? That can't be. The boulder was just, we just pushed it. Trainers live to seek stronger opponents because we just pushed that boulder over there. If it makes me push it a third time, I'm gonna be upset. Quillfish! <clears throat> let's go to. Uh, I was gonna say let's go to Sporkles, but. Um, mayhaps we don't need to. Let's go to. CC? Sporkles is just perfect. The problem. We can go to Goop and just rain thunder on these guys, but it almost seems like too much power to be hitting them with thunder. Although, I mean, this is what this is what you have this stuff for, right? Let's go for it. Why not? Hit missile. Mm -hmm. So this guy could either be poison or water, I suppose. Let's just hit him with thunder. Accurate, dead, zap, grabby. Okay. My only real concern is that we're just gonna run out of thunder. I mean, this could take several hundred. Do. Not really the end of the world or anything. Can we conserve something? I was gonna say maybe we can serve, but that is less of those. Ha! That's funny because the sand attack, sand attack lowers our accuracy, but it actually shouldn't affect the effectiveness of the thunder's accuracy. That should just be a guarantee. It's like aerialist; it just ignores accuracy checks. It's 51 for Goop and Phoebus. Oh goodness. The, the, oh, it almost feels like overkill to, um... Was he just faster than us? That's hard to believe. It used tackle. Well, okay, if you say so. A Kangaskhan! Boy, that would have been an interesting catch, wouldn't it? Let's go, let's fight it, because I bet it has some good experience. Mega Punch? Yeah. But how about Brick Break? Oh, Dizzy Punch! It's fast. Please don't confuse us. Okay. Let's see, these guys, I want to heal Sporkles and CC real quick. That Kangaskhan fight was actually worse than anticipated. <clears throat> We're getting low on potions here. We only have four left. Um, let's, let's really implement the range strategy in here now. Manectric. We need, to, we need to make sure we are prepared for the electric types, because they're obviously proving to be something of an issue. Then or not. Let's see. Let's see. It's raining. This guy's got nothing. He's just going to have a bunch of bugs and or poisons. Just hydro pump it. Yeah. It's dead. Your little then or not had no chance against mighty goop. Okay. This is the game this guy's playing. The only real danger here is if this thing has like, um, guillotine. Pincers can have that, high level pincers can have that, and so I was a little nervous it was gonna do that. I mean, it has terrible accuracy, of course, if it hits. I cannot believe I did not kill that thing, first of all. Um, Cause it also could have had like, are you kidding me with this? This pincer. Not going down. Got some defense on it. 52 for Dracus. Armalo. Okay, what did we do last time against Armalo? I think we just dragged breath. It did not work pretty good. Once again, though, it's using its. Woo! 
There's rock attacks. Fortunately, we paralyzed it, so it doesn't matter. It's dead. But man, that rock attack was strong. Another one. Oh gosh. Okay. We're gonna switch because I don't want to. I don't want Dracus to deal with it anymore. Ancient power nonsense. Um, let's go to. Yeah, then we'll just surf it because the uh, the rain is helping our surfs. The rain makes the surfs that much stronger. Boom! Look at that. I don't know if we. Oh, it's a sizzle. Wait, what was this guy? Oh, he's bug. Like, what is this guy using? Sizzle, very cool. Also, very dead. That's a huge amount of experience. Only the chosen can pass here. Oh, is that right? Grass type. No big deal. I'm just gonna ice beam it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Or is he poison? He's poison, of course. They're all poison. They're all poison. Hydro pump! Yes! It's so powerful. Especially when he hits with it. Okay. Um I mean hydro pump. Yeah. Dead. I mean Let's see. Let's see if the ice beam will take this out. It didn't. Okay. Nightshade's a pretty effective way to do damage. Doesn't matter. Oh! That time it did so much more. Got it. We're just testing it out. Oh, and a Gengar. Boy, we've had some trouble with these guys. We're gonna thunder this one. Confuse Ray! Oh, boy. No! Goop! What are you doing? Okay. Um, let's get a Sporkles, because we can still thunder. That's what I, I want to thunder this thing into its next life. It's already died once, right? No! Come on! Sparkles! No! You can do this, Sparkles! You can do this. Shadow Punch, nothing. Sparkles are confused. No! Sparkles! Goodness me, okay. Hopefully it doesn't have, like, Pursuit or something but to that effect. Let's go to Data here. If you use Confuse Ray on me, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay. Ah! So fast. Oh no! Ooh. Oh no, it used Destiny Bond. No! The Gengars! It used Destiny Bond! Data! Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not do that. That stupid, stupid, oh. Mm, that sucks. That really hurts. Mm. Why Destiny Bond? Why? No. Why the Gengars? I did not think about that. I was like... Everything's so hurt. I just sent in Data because I was like, Data's got the most health. No big deal. Ah. Uh. You don't believe it. I don't believe it. You dugong killing jerk face butthead. Oh no! Adida. Adida. That sucks. That sucks. I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy about it. Um. We have a few hyper potions left. Let's go ahead and use them. We're almost done with this stupid cave. Everything is the worst. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I cannot believe that just happened. We made it so far into the game with data. Oh, the the paint. Ugh. Data who has had so many people cheering him on the whole game. Uh, I'm so mad. 
who so often when new Pokemon were caught, people said, get rid of Data. And Data said, no, I stay. And so Data did. Can't escape! Not escape me. I am so... Thunder! I can't escape. Kyogre couldn't escape from a Manectric. Are you kidding me with that? And then it does that. Jeez. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm just making things faint now out of anger. Just, just angry. Probably should be saving these attacks for, you know, actual fights, but, uh... Oh, Pupitar! That would've been a cool catch. Very, um, Tyranitar's not super... Oh, Sandstorm, hilarious. Look at that, it's standing right next to Sandstorm. Not a very usable Pokemon on this particular, um, team at the moment, since we're all rain-based, and Tyranitar starts a sand stream when you summon it into battle. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We have... Um... Max Potion. Let's use it on Goop. Ugh. I'm so, so mad about me. Um, let's do... Part of me wonders, shoot, let's... Let's go to the old, old faithful. Fang unit Dracus here. Let's fight these fools. Yeah, we're trying to become champions together! Well, they're not gonna let you fight like that, okay? Nitto King and Coffee. The double Intimidate should be very useful here. Everything on their side of the field just got wrecked. Does Earthquake... Okay, would okay. It's good that it tells you that at least. I was like, can I earthquake them? Um, I could earthquake them, and it would hurt them badly. Let's get rid of the Nido King first for sure. The coffin could do some annoying um, exploding, but the double intimidate should mitigate. It said Mega Horn for a second. I thought it was Horn Drill, and I was like, no, but. Hmm. Okay, so you're gonna do that, and we're just gonna hit you with strength. So that should be that. Oh my gosh. This should be the end of the cave, I'm pretty sure. I don't think that you have fight this guy. Does he give you something? Double edge, no. That's okay. And a beauty fly. Oh, we made it to the end of Victory Road, but it came at a tremendous cost. Oh my gosh. This is this is the maybe the worst death we've had the whole game. Probably the worst death we've had the whole game. Eat I mean, emotionally. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Data. Data! You were with us for so long. We were at the Elite Four. You're ready. To rain, we we just got the rain dance. We oh no, oh, goodness. Okay, Data, I've never used a seal before. I've never really used a dugong, and you you proved to me that they were amazing. And I'm so sorry about the destiny bond. You get killed by a cheap trick, by a cheap trick, by a cheap Pokemon, and you took them down with you. It's because you took them down. You know that your final act was to kill the Gengar that also killed you. This hurts. I'm sorry. Everyone, please leave your condolences for Data in the comments below. 
You are a fantastic dugong. Farewell, friend. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I guess also let me know what other Pokemon you think we should bring on the team. I have to think it should probably be Craig or Raphael or Mama Smurf or Mythos just based on water and rain since that's what we're doing now. That's where we're at, I guess. There's an argument to be made for um, Piper as well. Well, yeah. We can immediately Thunderstone it up to Raichu and get more Thunder on the team, but I don't even know if that's, I mean, uh, we obviously already have Sporkles. What more Thunder could we ask for? <sighs> so mad. Well, you guys, let me know what you think we should do in the towel section down below. Leave a like for Dana, if you haven't already. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss what could be the final couple episodes here of the Nuzlocke. <sighs> we're going to have to do some grinding next episode, that's for sure. But then uh, we're here. We're at the Elite Four. We've made it to the end. It's been a long road. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Oh, gosh. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.